Whether you are creating or performing an art, it's an ongoing education. Mm -hmm. How do you think that your performing or choreographing experiences and your life experiences have helped each other? Do you understand what I'm trying to ask? No. I'm trying to get the idea that, that art is an evolution. It doesn't matter with your, it, whether it's in, at the time of uh, when you're choreographing a dance or when you're out actually dancing and something uh -huh. happens. Um, or whether it's something good, you fall in love, or something uh -huh. bad, someone you love passes away. How does your life and your art sort of intersect and influence each other? Well, it's just that. My, my art is my life. Um, tap dancing is <clears throat> an art to you, but it's a livelihood to me. Um, so they're basically one and the same, uh, in my opinion. Okay. Life and art. Then leading off of that, I know that uh, you're also a teacher, and how, how, what is the importance of being able to pass on what you have learned from other people, what you have learned yourself as an outgrowth of that, and teaching younger children? Well, it's important to me uh, that I pass on what I know so that what I've been taught will exist uh, forever or however long the next thought or thinker wants it to exist, whoever accepts the teaching. Um, talking about lately and because it's such a stressful time in the world is that when people can come out to a festival such as the JVC Jazz Fest or any other for just that moment when they're watching you perform and hopefully as you perform for an audience there's that ability to let go of everyday stress and free your mind. Can you talk a little bit about being here today sort of in that context? Uh... Yeah, you know, being up here is, uh, of course, uh, it's like, uh, you know, very relaxing and at the water and everything, nice environment. Um, it's how it should be, in, you know, everywhere, in everyone's mind, peaceful, you know, with music, some type of music going on um, throughout the course of your life or your day. But uh, it's very beautiful, uh, you know, similar to... Oh, a lot of places in the world that are just peaceful. And um, you get to see some, oh, and hear some good music. Uh, some old friends. Old friends. Uh, yeah. How did you choose the music for the dances that you performed today? Oh, we, we sort of just... Uh, chose it as we were going along today. Uh, I have the opportunity to be with these guys for the first time today. Uh, so we were just just playing the music uh, until our last selection, which was Stars and Stripes Forever. But uh, up until that point, we were just, you know, figuring it out, trying to figure it out. So it's an improvisation before you came here? This whole uh, event was improvisation. <laughs> That's what jazz music is. You know, it's, in my opinion, it's improvisation. Um, so that's what we did today. And the last one, we've also been, um, a lot of this production crew is from New Orleans, so we've had sort of a different kind of year than normal. Uh -huh. There's been a lot of emphasis on a, the healing of music and art, and B, that the arts are really one of the only diverse worlds, culturally, economically. Uh, it, it, it has a different set of standards. And do you have any feelings as to why it is that the arts have been able to em embrace diversity as opposed to other fields people choose where they 
we, you know, they keep it away from themselves. Well, it's like we made the comment earlier, uh, art is life. And people find life through art because art is about expressing, you know. Um, art is about accepting expression. And um, it's only through art that we can accept expression, one's expression. So uh, I think we all, everyone in the world loves art, music, sound, you know, entertainment, some type of uh, release, if you will, or, you know, a chance for someone to enjoy a sound that makes them happy or a lyric that makes them happy or sad, but it's still an expression, you know, so expression is life, and once you start to take one's ability to express him or herself, once you take that away, then you're taking away life, you're taking away one's life, so. I'm big on expression. <laughs> okay, and last question. Um, is there anything, what is the most important thing you're doing professionally now? I'm not trying to get into your personal life, but what, what are you leading up to or aiming to try and achieve right now? Right now, uh, I'm trying to be like that man over there. His name is Jimmy Sly. <laughs> I want to be like Jimmy Sly. <laughs> this is Jimmy Sly. And if you don't know who Jimmy Sly is, then you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you should be ashamed of your upbringing. Jimmy Slide is John Coltrane. Jimmy Slide is Miles Davis. Jimmy Slide is tap dancing. Jimmy Slide is one of our most important figures in the dance world, in the dance community. So, if you know anything about music, tap dancing, ballet, modern, then you know about dance. And if you know about dance, then you know about tap. And if you know about tap, you have to know who Jimmy Slide is. <laughs> Even though that's the last question now, I'm hoping I can get a little bit of footage of Mr. Slide and then maybe something of the two of you together. <laughs> um, Oh. I'm hoping you can get a still picture of the two gentlemen together. Oh, Mr. Slide. You just said some wonderful things about you. What I'd like to do is get a picture of you and yourself. Just a little bit of film together. So what do you want to meet you? I don't want him to put a blur on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that wall is 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 Seagulls landing there. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, hey. Look. What? Hey, I see you got your part. Sit down. Don't go nowhere. I'm just back to back and with you. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? I'm tickled. <laughs> I thought it just. It's always good to have you. You, you found something out. Yeah. You keep on your clubs around all the time. You can keep people in the distance and you got something to maneuver. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of just sitting there with your hands in your lap and all like that, you know? Yeah. Something else to think about. And if somebody gets close to you, you say, look out, I don't know where I'm swinging. <laughs> Could y'all look this way, please? Okay. Hey, no, no, no fair glasses, huh? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, Mr. Sly, how long have you known him? All my life. <laughs> you have known this man all your life, all his life. I've known. Anywhere you look at, it just feels like you know it's just been there, and it's not complete. It's just a beautiful journey, you know. He's just uh, 
someone who means an awful lot to the, not only to the world, but to me. Does he teach you as much as you teach him? Oh, I don't know about that. We, we, don't, we don't. You see, he's got my club in his hand, so I don't know. He, he, I have to duck every now and then because his backswing is a little all right. <laughs> no, I've known Shemag uh, since his early days in TAP, you know, and uh, we sort of had a mutual path we've been journeying you know some of the same important people that, that meant so much to all of us. And uh, he's just a really dedicated young man, and I love him for that, because he not only loves what he's doing, but he's seeing that it's done the right way. Everybody does, can't say that. So. Uh, and how many years have you been tapped in? How many years have you been tapping? Oh, a few. <laughs> <laughs> Say a lifetime, over 60. So that's uh, comparable. Do you know who the drummer Earl Palmer is, either of you? You know, he started out as a tap dancer, and that's how he formed the beats for his drumming. Oh, okay. It's all the same album. You ask him, he says, oh, I've been drumming for 72 years, and he's only, you know, 78. <laughs> hmm. Well, you know, a lot of the drummers, uh, we have an affinity. The drummers, uh, they're the original percussionists, but we have the, used the original limbs, the feet, you know, and uh, all, the, all the drummers from Joe Jones, I'm going way back, who I, I read in that article that you hadn't heard of. He's one of the, he used to wear capizios to that drum it. Mm. That's a, that's <laughs> the shoes to that, drum. That's right. Mm. Joe Jones, who you were mentioning on that Basie album. Mm. Oh yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's all right. But you yeah. honest in it, you know, and uh, that's what that's what counts. Yeah. Now you can look it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he was a great dance. <clears throat> a lot of the dance drummers wish they could dance. Roy Haynes, to name one, he always said, blah, 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 and this is. Not a good left foot, <laughs> said, but I got a good left hand. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just thrilled to know him, and just like I said, can hardly wait to see what he's going to do next. That's always encouraging. There's always something yet to come, you know, so my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you both. I really appreciate yeah. you taking Thank the you. time to come over. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Sly. Yeah, Ben. Yeah. Don't let it happen again. <laughs>